What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the latest edition of Call Out TV. It's your boy Jai, and Troy Ave is a free man, y'all. And one thing I learned about this video right here, where Troy Ave is holding $2 million in cash and a Lamborghini truck, man. One thing I realized from watching this, and I see him in the video here with his girl, is that he has family that loves him, man. This guy did one of the quickest walkthroughs on Rikers Island that I have ever seen. So that is a W for him, all right? He lost the battle when it came to Tag Stone, but we're not gonna argue that he won the war. This man went in in February and he's out in August, flexing $2 million in cash and a Lamborghini, a red Lamborghini truck, man. Hugging his girl and all that. Now, Banger will never ever get to do that again. He'll never be able to get a chance to hug his loved ones, you know, hug his brother again. Why? Because you had him, you had Banger. You sent Banger on dummy missions and you was underpaying him. Now, I'm not going to say that's not the case now because I can guarantee you that you paying Trife Gangster some type of money, man. Because Trife Gangster, his name speaks for itself. He's made his rounds in up north in New York State prisons. His name sound like something in the streets. This ain't no big riding shit. But if y'all was in the streets with him, y'all was in the can with him, y'all know. He was nothing to play with. This nigga used to walk around with two 357 Magnums on his fucking waist, man. There's videos to this day on YouTube of him like that with his sons with red bandanas on and all that. Like someone was really about that life. Now, we all know that the old Trey gangster would have probably, you know, put that nigga under. But he got too much shit that's going on. I know I made videos before about him. And I've held him accountable. And yes, Trey Gangster was in my comment section. And if I'm not mistaken, I think we follow each other on the gram. But um, you know, Trey Gangster, he's doing a lot of positivity. He's doing a lot of he's doing a lot of positive things, man, for the youth, man. You know what I'm saying? And I respect that shit. But it's just sad that, you know, Troy Ave is out here, you know, making moves with DJ Academics. Because let's be honest here, right? I never heard nobody say, yo, man, when that next Troy Ave shit coming out, man, yo, we got to play that new, we got to bump that new Troy Ave. Troy Ave best days was 2015, 2017, and those days are long behind him now, man. So this man told, he ratted, he took the stand, you know, Tag Stone got to do 35. He got to wear that 35, man, on his back like Kevin Durant. And I'm not trying to be funny, but it is what it is. He should focus more on his on his case and stay in that lower library and try to fight to try to get an appeal to try to come home. That's what he should be trying to do instead of paying for bitches to get their body done. And you never going to fuck them bitches. Them bitches is out here fucking and sucking on other niggas. And yo, this nigga Tag Stone got a whole female's body done. He's done it for multiple females. He's admitted to doing it. And in my eyes, when you, when you come from where I come from, nigga, I come from Brownsville, 375 Blake Avenue. You understand what I'm saying? And where I come from, nigga, that's considered as tricking. Niggas don't respect tricks where I come from, nigga. If you got to spend your money, especially you behind the wall, nigga, nigga, you need all that money, nigga, for your commissary, nigga, for your lawyers to be fighting your cases. You ain't got no time, nigga, to be spending money on, on these thotties, nigga, to get their fucking bodies done. But this this is what this is what um this is what Tag Stone is doing, bro. He's so concerned about what's going on on YouTube with it with Zip and all these other niggas is that he ain't even focusing on his case, bro. He worrying about dumb shit, bro. Like everybody else is home, they free, nigga. They they get they dick suck every night if they want, nigga. They laid up with a bitch every night, nigga. Every night, nigga, you gotta choke your chicken, nigga, and cry yourself to sleep because you troll you trolled this man, you trolled him. To the point where he 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 forced your hand to crash out, nigga. So you you, you really did put yourself in this situation. You ain't got nobody else to blame but yourself, Tax Stone. So if I was you, I would focus on your case. But um, back to this nigga Troy Ave, man. Things you know, it's never gonna bring Banger back. He's sitting there smiling, making it look good for the gram, taking pictures in front of the Rikers Allen sign. When we all know this nigga was in protective custody. On Rikers Island, the West facility, 
we all know this nigga was safe in his own cell, locked in. You feel what I'm saying? He wasn't he wasn't like Lil Wayne and them niggas. You feel me? I mean, Lil Wayne, you know, he was in PC too, but I think Lil Wayne, he wanted to go to. I think he want. I think he wanted to go to um General Pop, but he he's just too much of a big of a celebrity. Like like I said, man, Troy Ave never even reached to, to the B celebrity status. You feel what I'm saying? He ain't no B lister. You feel what I'm saying? He just a regular nigga that that came up. You know, he always had a good life. His mother was a nurse. You know what I'm saying? He never grew up in the projects. And you know what I'm saying? He don't come from the he don't come from the roaches and the rats. He don't come from that. That's not that cloth that he come from, but he rap about that shit. He rap about having having bricks in his backpack and all that. He he rap about all that shit, man. But that's not really him. Cause you see when shit got real, when shit got real, he tried to throw his mans under the bus. Niggas that he was underpaying. You think if this if, if, if Troy Yav was paying his niggas handsomely and all these niggas had chains on and, and stacks in their pocket, you don't think them niggas would have took yeah, the niggas would have took that time for that nigga. But they know that nigga's a piece of shit, bro. Look how he did his man Banger, son. You know what I'm saying? Banger can never do the things that Troy Yav is able to do. Come home, hug his girl, fuck his girl, tell his family he love him. He, Banger can never do these things again, bro. You know what I'm saying? And Banger, he was a good nigga. So I don't know the nigga personally. But a lot of people say, like, Banger was a good dude. You feel what I'm saying? Like, if he was your mans and he was with you, he was he was a rider. He was one of them niggas. But, um, you know, Troy Yav, man, he gonna stick around and, and, and try to get as much clout as he could try to get. But, you know, his clout's fading away. He, his youth, he has a dying YouTube channel. You know what I'm saying? Like, we get more numbers than Troy Yav over here in the dirty section. And that's a fact, nigga. Before Troy Yav went in, in February, before he went to go do his time, that nigga numbers was horrible. The only numbers that he was doing is when, you know, Mano really made the nigga hot. You know what I'm saying? Mano, you know what I'm saying? Mano, aka Chano, really made that nigga hot again. But um, ain't nobody checking for that nigga Troy Ave, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what made DJ Academics want to sign that nigga to a deal. You know what I'm saying? You got 43 zero no drip out here doing better numbers than, than the majority of these rappers, and I'm just keeping it a hundred. Y'all niggas know I don't fuck with boy at all. You know what I'm saying? But it's a lot of niggas in the dirty section that's doing better numbers than Troy Yav that DJ Academic should be looking at. But instead, he looking at a washed up rapper. You know what I'm saying? That that he had it. Like I said, 2015, 2017, he had it. You know what I'm saying? But he'll, he'll never get back there again, man. People already know he's a rat and he's a far from a stand-up nigga, man. But uh, I want y'all to get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about this shit, man. Don't forget to hit that like button. Share, subscribe. I'm out. Oh, man. Yo, we out. I want to go straight to the airport.